The London Evening Standard needed a community foundation when it decided that it wanted to mobilise ordinary Londoners to help some of the least advantaged people in this great city of ours. A community foundation was the vehicle that collected now over £12 million. It was a community foundation that found the groups that could use that money to make a difference to people's lives. The Big Lottery Fund needed a community foundation when it wanted to change from within the 81 least advantaged, lowest capacity communities in the whole of the United Kingdom. The lottery couldn't find any charity to fund in those 81 areas. The Community Foundation stepped up to the plate, found great organisations and did it in such a way that those communities regenerated themselves. 15,000 people use a Community Foundation for their giving to make it exciting, to make it compelling and to make it hassle-free. Community foundations are good news. In fact, they're great news. They exist across the UK, but what are they? In simple terms, they're charities. They're charities that exist partly to focus on the needs of donors, to help people who want to give locally, to give effectively, efficiently, and in a really rewarding way, to help communities thrive. A community foundation allows somebody to set up what is effectively a private charitable trust, a fund, within the umbrella of the community foundation that is a registered charity. That's my visual illustration. That's a fund. <laughs> that allows somebody to give into that fund at a time to suit them, to suit their family, to suit the people who are planning their tax affairs, to make sure the tax benefits of giving are maximised to the full. When the fund is set up, the person who gives the money can set out the purposes for which that money is to be used. And then separately, at their leisure, they can work out how to invest that money in local charities in their area that will do the things that they want to see happen. That ability to disconnect the act of giving from the act of applying the money takes away all the pressure to commit all of that money to a set number of charities right up front. People who give really value that facility. A wide range of other services then available to people who give through a community foundation. Local knowledge, what is going on in this town, this village, this city that I care about? Help in setting a strategy. Due diligence on people that are funded and organisations that are funded. The availability or the lack of publicity all of those services are available on an as-needs basis. But of course, I'm biased, I hear you say. Well, I didn't actually, but I'm sure you're thinking that. If you Google the McQueen Foundation, you'll see an individual who talks in very compelling terms about how a community foundation helped him and his family make a difference. Go to the McQueen Foundation website. On the About tab, bottom right-hand corner, you'll see Doug McQueen talking in very emotional terms, about the anguish and distress that he and his family faced when their son, aged 27, committed suicide in 2007. But that website is not a story of distress and anguish. It's actually a story of what that family has achieved in the memory of Mark McQueen through the Community Foundation. What you'll see in Merseyside, which is where this happened, is that waiting times for young men who need counselling services for mental health issues has been reduced thanks to the work of the McQueen Foundation through the Community Foundation. Research has been undertaken in how suicide is handled from the perspective of families and friends. Groundbreaking research happened through the Community Foundation. And a national organisation has been built up that provides telephone help services to young men in particular who've got mental health issues. Again through the Community Foundation, a very profound strategy, a very big difference, all for something like £60,000 worth of funding hitherto. But their work will continue through the Community Foundation. <clears throat> Everyone who gives through a Community Foundation, of course, is motivated by something. In general terms, it's to see a difference in people's lives, or it's to see their communities start to thrive more. An extra reason, my first announcement for tonight, is that until the end of December... Anybody who commits a fund to a community foundation 
will get the amount of money boosted by 50% thanks to a special government initiative. The only catch is that money has to be spent over the long term to sustain community-led local social action. Not much of a catch, I hear you say. That means if you committed £100,000 to a community foundation fund to do the kinds of things that I've been talking about, that would multiply in value, once you build in the gift aids, to something like £250,000. If you want to hear more about that, multiple leverage, before the money gets into the hands of really effective local charities, come and see me afterwards, or come and see my glorious assistants, who are now going to stand up, who have got all the information to hand. I'm just going to close this bit about community foundations by quoting from the video on Mark McQueen's website. He said... He said, after Mark's, that's the son's death, we searched around to see how we could help other families. We found the Community Foundation. Community Foundations are available to all. They're available to everybody in this room. David's already said they cover the whole of the United Kingdom. And the same people that stood up just a few moments ago would love to tell you more. But that's not all. But that's not all. It is all about Community Foundations. I've got one second and important announcement to make. The people that give through community foundations are the real heroes, the people that commit money to see change happen in their communities. The purple that people that use the money are probably equal, community, uh, equal, equal heroes. Tonight I also would like to announce that the Beacon Awards for 2015 are going to happen in April 2015. And by virtue of being on this mailing list, you will get priority announcement and alerts to the awards being um, taking place, the nominations opening. Beacon, if you were watching the video, is the only UK-based uh, charity awards process that wants to recognise people who create powerful social change through their philanthropy, through their giving. So look out for emails from Patchwork, because... The Beacon Awards are coming. We want to make giving philanthropy more of a social norm. Beacon is the vehicle through which we hope to do that. So keep an eye out for it.